Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I've just about kicked that cold, but more importantly, I'm gonna introduce you guys to a company out of Western Australia called Liquid Oasis. All right, so uh, at Reefstock 2019, I bumped into the guys from Liquid Oasis, a, a company out of Western Australia. They just had some really cool stuff on their um, stand. My favorite being their coral composter, otherwise known as a uh, calcium reactor, but it was a really different take on how a um, calcium reactor could work. And also they were uh, just absolutely bulletproof uh, PVC sumps and other accessories. Um, I bumped into the guys who walked me through some of their product range. Um, there's quite a lot to cover, but uh, this was literally only some of their product range. So uh, grab a comfortable spot to uh, sit down and uh, enjoy what the guys have got to show us. All right, so I'm here with Liquid Oasis, who have come all the way out from WA to show us their incredible range of uh, PVC-created uh, sumps. And these things are off the charts, absolutely industrial. I wouldn't even say commercial grade, I'd say industrial grade equipment. And um, I'm gonna hand over to the man that makes them so he can tell us all about the uh, cool equipment that he has here today. What's up, guys? Matt here from Liquid Oasis. So, a little bit about our systems. All our sheets is made from UV-resistant PVC, not just UV-stable. This means you get a 40 year lifespan from a sheet. It won't discolor or get brittle as other PVCs would. Yeah. So pretty much everything is CNC cut. We don't use any solvent glue, so everything sort of interlocks and then we basically come. We have to deburred by hand. After that, we come and tack each corner, then remove the oxidation layer and any basically overrun. Then after that, we come and we weld it. So it's not just a decorative thing that we put there. That's actually what's giving it its strength as well as the interlocking. Right now these come with a 10 year warranty and eventually we'll get to 20 years or we have to basically supply for commercial or mining systems. The nicest thing is that you, everyone goes, oh, you know, my lid's always bad or bow. This is from acrylic. It basically has an absorption rate. It can also be a temperature differential, but basically PVC is in a, it does not absorb anything, which means you have nice straight lids forever. Basically, we do a big range of phantom overflows. We also custom design anyone if you want the open slits, not the vertical slits. Everything is basically earth magnets, which are sealed, which are run above normally the water line so that if there ever was an issue, you're not getting that metal in. But if there was ever a case of that, we would happily um, fix it. The biggest difference is our back boxes are also PVC and welded. This means you're leaning over at night and you want to change your fitting that leverage doesn't snap the back box. Then if it does, we have to come drag it out. So we decided to rather build a very structurally strong box. Um, same with our Pico range. It's a small little one, sells for about $150. Wow, it cheap. is awesome. Same with the PVC back box. Also comes with a 10 year warranty. Other things which are really cool, come check this out guys. This is the Coral Composter, which is basically just a calcium reactor, but an unpressurized version. This is pretty, pretty awesome. Normally, if you do a sump, we'll incorporate this into the sump for about an extra 400 bucks. But the coolest thing is that maintenance, you don't have time. All these little things that spin and put in CO2, it's just more time away. We wanted to come make it easy, keep it simple. Basically, you stick all your media in here. This one holds about 25 kilos of um, aragonite mix. When you need to basically wash it or change it, so if it has detritus, you literally just lift it up. The pump is mounted underneath so that you don't have to have any issues with the cavitating or trying to get rid of the air bubble. When it's incorporated, that pump sits in the final chamber, so easy access. But if you come a bit closer here, the biggest thing about this is that your affluent, so where it comes out, is a three quarter inch fitting, which normally fits straight into your sump. This means there's no issues with the little pipes with the, trying to control your flow rate which block up. This will take probably six months to a year if it ever did block up. Basically, other than that, it still has your affluent. You have a much uh, higher flow through rate. So you're looking at around about 12 to 15 liters, depending on your system and the size of the actual reactor itself, which means you don't need a step motor or a dosing pump to feed it. All you're running is off your manifold with the George Fisher uh, tap fitting. Other than that, it's pretty stock standard, just like a plane and a car, both have a motor and a gearbox, both get you from A to B, one flies and one drives. <laughs> this just is your pH probe, calibrated every now and then in the beginning, but plugs into a pH controller or your Apex unit or GHL. Other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, everything's interlocked, PVC, so if you did drop it down, 
you'll see um, your calcium, it's not going to get brittle in time. You've also got 10 year warranty on this, so great value for money. Um, other main feature on it is that it's unpressurized, saying that there's no little screws to undo. Um, we joke around and call it the coral composter because you spend a lot of money in your trace and growing a coral and it either ends up in the bin if it does die or if you haven't fragged it to hell, it sits on a nice table. But we view it as lift up the lid, drop it in. That is what a ragonite mix is, it's coral. And putting all that nice trace element you spent your money on and it's sort of keeping the cycle going a bit more sustainable. So it's sort of our approach and to keep it easy. I like it, I like it. I also like the fact that uh, whilst you can build it into the sump, you've also made this unit so that it can, um, you can add it on. You can literally sit next to your sump like this one. Basically we made it modular so that if you wanted to fit it next to it, you can have this a little bit higher so that it drains into a refugee that then drains into your sump. Um, it's normally retails for around about 1200 You do not have to get the removable unit. This is if you want to um, plumb it, hard plumb it into your system and not drip water everywhere or try to pick up this full of um, <laughs> ragonite mix is going to be pretty damn hard. So that's an extra uh, around about 400 bucks, but um, you can literally, the plumbing just fits in if you're happy with that. So we do a lot of custom work and we can retrofit it to any size system that you need and also make this as big as you want. So you start going to 45, 50 centimeters, you're starting to hold 60 to 80 kilos of um, aragonite mix, which would probably be for the most heavily dominated SPS system. We're starting to make these for a couple of public aquariums to handle their bigger systems and um, it works well because at the end of the day in Australia we don't have cheap labour, time is money. If you can keep it simple, get the job done and know that you know, you're not going to have issues, that's what we need. Happy days and it's, it's worth pointing out that um, aquarium work isn't the only work you guys do. You do a lot of work in, the, uh, in some other fields yeah, so, um, and some fields that are fairly uh, demanding in their quality requirements. Yeah. Yeah, so basically um, for this, I've always been in the cranes for the last nine to ten years. Um, I had a non-compete, so I had to sort of go, well, where else can I apply my um, plastic manufacturing? So we've moved across into mining, so we do a lot of higher plants for lithium, gold processing, using more polycarb uh, polycarbonate, which is like a bulletproof plastics and thermoforming those. So it's been pretty out there. So from our engineering side, where we have to have a lot of red tape, and everyone knows in Australia, red tape is everywhere. Especially in WA, it is literally everywhere. <laughs> so we have to take those processes and we bring in them to the hobby side. Um, for any commercial tank we have to do, we have to give a 20 year lifespan warranty. And so we're bringing that to here. But in our line of work, I want to keep our name. When I'm an old man, I want to still be liquid oasis and not just another branding of our store. So, Right now these are 10 years, when I have one that's been running for 20 years and I don't have to change the design, it'll be 20 year warranty on these. So you spend it once and it's going to last you for life. And I know everyone thinks, oh you only keep a system for 5 years max or 10 years, but if you're building a house and it's built in, it's going to be there for a long time. Maybe you, not for you, but for the next owner. So rather spend the, buy the equipment once and you've got it for life. Sensational. Thanks, man. Anything else you want to show yeah, us? Yeah, So a few other things we do. Yeah, um, let's see them. This is our new um, in-LED light. Um, very, very good lights. 185 watts, eight channels of control. Um, it is more on the violet spectrum of light. There's a lot of research going that the violet spectrum of light induces um, increased production of fluorescent pigments in corals. So we've sort of taken that. We've been running them for about two and a half years now. This is our third generation. We used to build them in our factory in Perth, but um, labor being very expensive here, the price was just priced out and we weren't really producing these to send or ship around the world. It was for our clients that we could give the best quality product for a reasonable, fair price. Um, we now get them assembled and made in China, but it is all um, American imported LEDs and German LEDs. So it's all the top quality, but at an affordable price. So these normally recommend at US, um, Aussie dollar of 770. If we turn that into US dollar, that's under 500 US. So a very, very affordable light. Um, if we have a look at it, it's got the hexagon um, lenses. We have found these work really well. We also wanted redundancies so that if we build into a bigger hood where we're not checking it off, it's a customer that doesn't check it, you have double fans, so you won't blow the unit up if a fan breaks. Um, besides that, you have a nice little visual display as Sam looked at before. This is more for that everyone comes around and you never can connect to the light of a Wi-Fi because your Wi-Fi light is down when your mates come around. This way, if something's wrong, you can turn it off. But also, you can set an auto, which is what we normally run throughout the day. 
but I can adjust my manual setting to be that blue spectrum. So when somebody walks in the midday and go, oh, you think the tank looks nice now? Just wait. All I have to do is touch the button, turn it to manual, show them that, and basically, I think it's after 10 to 15 minutes, it automatically switches back to auto if you select that. Otherwise, you just click the button, go through it again, and select auto. So That's really cool. I like that. that it you can switch it to manual, but it'll auto time back to, to if auto. You it on the, yeah, um, yeah. It, on but the it's app. just to have the option to do that. Otherwise, you know, you've, your friends leave and you want to put it back onto the schedule. You've got to climb back up there and start pressing buttons again, but not with this unit. Yeah, exactly. So, very, very good units. Um, all injected molded. If you could have touch vision, the way <laughs> it feels, it, it's pretty different. It almost has like a soft texture. It is um, pretty intense. Um, and the big thing is eight channels. This isn't so much your, your light for the person that doesn't really know what this is the first light in the market. We'd love to sell it to you and it has pre-settings, but it's for the guy that wants to try something. I want you to discover, hey, if I give it UV and then I put it in the violet lights and then I put it with a deep blue, I induce you know, faster growth or you know, spawning in the system. That is what I'm hoping that someone will do with the light. Um, you basically have warm white, red, green, um, Blue, light blue, violets, ultraviolets, and uh, green. Sorry. <laughs> so um, it's full spectrum light, really great, and value for money, it can't be beat. So, Brilliant. Yeah. And for us Australian guys, where every light has to sometimes get shipped back to America if something's wrong, yes, we're on the West Coast, but it is pretty much we'll ship a unit out if it's going to take longer than a couple of weeks to fix. But normally, with stores that might stock it, we will basically have a swap over light that they will give you while we fix it. So, trying to basically have that service. Sh should anything happen, but these things are built bulletproof, so exactly. it's very unlikely that it is going to happen. Exactly. That was a good point. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we got one more thing. We yeah. don't really do it, but this is something that we're trying to push because yeah. this comes from our mining side. Are these big bad boys? George Fisher. Everyone goes, they're very high priced, and a lot of the mining guys say that. It's EDM seals, it's all lab grade. Big seals, double union, and people go, oh, that looks expensive. You know, you're dealing with a German company that's all about quality. That retails for around about $65. Bunnings, you know, you're buying one for $55. That a little guy, oh, I shouldn't say the name. Um, <laughs> the little blue handle ones from um, Bunnings, which end up either dissolving or you can't turn it after. Yeah. Nice thing with this, if something does calcify and it does get jacked, you have the double union that you can undo. But quality, um, it's Schedule 20. We go on our pipe to Schedule 80 just for longevity. But I'll show you on small because I'm feeling a bit tired today. <laughs> um, we've always had a couple of customers where we've done tanks and a little toddler gets in and either closes, evolve, or shuts something off and it floods. The nice thing about these is that you can just remove the tap. So it does make a child safe or if you're going to hit it or knock it with your elbow if you are doing maintenance. But just clips on, really, really great. Fair price, you're dealing with a big brand name company that if anything is wrong or it's a manufacturer default, they will just change it. So something to think about guys, there are um, suppliers on the East Coast as well as in WA. Um, another big thing that's we try to partner with a lot of stores. So we'll happily do your flow dynamics, stress tests, anything you're sump. We'll rebuild whatever equipment you are using in 3D and put it into the sump and work it. So we use quite advanced um, 3D programs at the back there. Um, this is a new sump we're busy doing, so basically we have to install it within 24 hours. So everything's attached, we just literally drop it in place, screw it into the wall. Um, the tank's around about 8 meters above it on the second story, so it'll just pump up. Um, but anything that, we'll happily do designs, flow dynamics for any store, any person that we can either send those schematics to you or put you in contact with someone. So we do as much as you want or as little. Incredible. Incredible, amazing stuff. Fantastic work. So besides that, um, a few other products. Um, this is called Professional Car Solutions. It's made by a couple of guys in Western Australia from UWN. Um, basically, it's a very concentrated mix of um, trace elements. We've recommend, uh, we noticed and see massive growth. Just, I don't know if Sam can actually show a picture under the light. But basically, from a frag to colony in about three months. Um, it works really, really well. It causes great growth and multi multiplying of heads in a coral. The other thing is, oh gosh, sorry guys, it's a phosphate absorber. Phosphate absorber is just great value for money. It's an ionic exchange. It's not like lanthium where it attaches and precipitates and if it lands in a coral, it can kill your coral and wipe out tanks. And I have seen a lot of customers do this. We use this pretty much um, 
this mix is designed for your thousand liter and above tank. Um, so we dose one mil per thousand liters. Um, roughly, though, I recommend once a week you do a 10 to 50 mil. So it attaches to those phosphates and then it allows all the other phosphates to get leached out of your sand and your rock work and still attach to those. It is only good with a skimmer as your skimmer is doing your main export of whatever it's attaching to. But basically, as I said before, it's an ionic exchange, so not a precipitate, so you can't wipe your corals out. But it is a metal, so if some fish and some inverts are sensitive to it, so if you are dosing it, you never spray it into the top of the tank, you spray it down into the sump. Um, but besides that, great value for money. They are on Facebook. We do um, ship around, and if it does ship, it comes in beautiful little booster packs. So you just mix them yourself. It comes with all the labels that you need to basically um, stick on the bottle. And it, of course, a recipe of how to mix it up with some RDI. And then basically, if you do want your phosphates, you are just measuring what your phosphate level is, the size of your tank, and then the recommended daily dose rate. You can put it on a dosing pump, the phosphate absorber that is. Sadly, the um, trace elements, there is a bit of, um, basically it falls out of suspension, so you do need to shake it before um, dosing it. But the coolest thing about it is, you can do a weekly dose in one dose. So you can either do it daily, which I do personally in our store, but um, for customers, if you don't have the time, times your daily dose by seven and pour it in the tank. Amazing. So really, really awesome. And that's a little bit about what we do. Um, our website is currently in development, but it very soon will be up there and you'll see a full range of prices. Normally, it's um, this size retails for around about 1800 And remember, 1800 with a 10-year warranty for now. When I get to 12 years, 12 years, 15 years, 15 years, and when I get to 20 years, it'll be 20 years. We, so we'll custom do most sumps. There is a small design fee of around about $100, which is pretty fair, but if you end up going with the sump, that normally gets taken off the price. Um, yeah. So guys, if you ever need anything, get in contact with the store to get in contact with us or deal direct and we'll put you in contact with one of our store partners that are in your area. Look forward to doing business with you. Good job, man. Nice one. All right, guys, that's about all i got time for. Um, if you've got any questions for the Liquid Oasis guys, be it uh, plastic engineering, uh, public aquarium needs, uh, what else have we got there? Uh, tank installations, um, any sort of custom work like that, be sure to pop a uh, question in the comment section down below or, of course, jump on their uh, Facebook page and ask them there. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're enjoying watching these style of videos and you want to make sure you don't miss out on any more, um, it means a lot to me if you could hit the subscribe button. It definitely helps uh, my algorithm on YouTube and the way these things go. But uh, yeah, if you would, uh, wouldn't mind taking the time subscribing, that'd go a long way. Other than that, guys, I'll leave you to it. Um, until next time, thanks for watching.